Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to our uh, Royal Quan video. So guys, I've uploaded my videos that lately I've just been really frustrated finding stuff in Australian retailers. So yeah, um, I have some new, a uh, Force Friday haul video, I don't know, didn't really find much solo stuff in, 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 in particular, but yeah, um, yeah. So this year on the Friday the thirteenth of April, it was for it was a, it was a it was a official release date for the new Force Friday for the solo movie. So yeah. So after school I went to um after school I went to a bit I, I I went to a Target and came up and they didn't have nothing. And I, I asked one of the walkers there you got any solo stuff? And they didn't know what I was talking about. Sorry, I was pretty frustrated. And um yeah, it was it was really disappointing this year. I couldn't find nothing, but yeah, but the but the so I was for, sorry on um on um a, a Monday, it was the last day of holidays. On the Monday, I went to a BW store, and they they, they only had this, I uh, and these nips group five. So the so the so they only had this in store only. It was this and the Raptor solo packaging set. And the smaller Falcon. The that, that was it. They had no, they had no vintage collection figures. Had no single card figures. No um no um battle packs or solo figures. No 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 force equal nothing. How I was pretty stop. It took me like two weeks to actually find one solo thing in particular. But yeah, yeah. This year, guys, was 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 this bad. I remember last year, guys, for the Force Fire Two for the last year. That was so awesome, guys. I did. Make a haul video. I got all the people with 75 inch figures. I got two black twos, and that was an awesome haul. That's one of my that's one of my best Force Fridays I've ever, ever had. Because the the um the first Force Friday for Force Awakens, uh, was it? Was, it was okay. It didn't have anything in store, but yeah, for the, for the Rogue Friday it was done again. But the last year I saw the last year, well, the, for the Force Friday two that was a success. I did make a haul video. Check that out. I'll probably leave in the description. So check that out. I don't know. I might. Yeah. Um, like it's so it's so messed up. Cause you guys in the US have had things fine and some stuff. Like, I watched a couple of you guys' videos and you, you guys actually been finding stuff. And I found it's only this. Had they like had they, they had like Emma retailers like came on Target and stuff. Um, they, they don't have anything. So the main places I. I've been to this big W in Toy World. But I found nothing in Toy World. A couple of my other friends from, from Australia told me to check W, Toy World, and Toys R Us. So, well, I, I'm, not, I'm not really near Toys R Us. It's really far away. It's like an hour away. Plus, the Toy World. I went to the Toy World like on Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. I post it, no, no. Um, they, they, they didn't have nothing. Bunch of Last Jedi Force Awakens stuff from Rogue One, so there. Lots of Force Awake, lots of Force Awake, more than Last Jedi stuff. It's really messed up. Yeah, but um, Big W was okay. It, uh, I don't know, guys. I'm really disappointed in the Hasbro not not releasing all the stuff on the real estate in Australia. It really sucks. I know, I know a couple of you guys from the UK couldn't find some stuff too. I guess it's really disappointing, Hasbro. And I'm just really angry, but yeah, that's, that's enough me ranting about the fourth Friday this year. Hey, next year, so nine will be good. Um, yeah, I, I got this set at the SNF Super Black, got it at Big W for $35. Um, it's a pretty good price. Um, $35 is okay. I remember, like, I remember from the, I remember, I remember from Force Awakens, these little packs were like $40 at stores. $35 is a good deal. And this is it's an awesome character. She's a girl. I found it out if it was a, I don't I didn't know the general or the person, but it's and and so the girl that's pretty cool. The three bike. So thank you for a review on this guys. I'm so happy I got this. I'm really happy. It looks awesome. And yeah, so that was my only solid sol thing I found in retailers. Well, yeah, I had the um uh a Wampa and the Luke set, but I I couldn't I couldn't afford it or anything, so I just hide it in both of pops. In my area, in my big I'm, I'm a local one. I just hide it away so I can get that a couple of weeks. So yeah. So now, so I went to another big W. And I searched off first for some single card solo stuff. Can I, cannot find no single card solo stuff. No, no battle packs or nothing for solo stuff. So yeah. 
I went to the BWR aisle, I was searching for some figures there, and by the, I saw, but they had like a bunch of vintage clothes to figure they had like tons of rays, like had like three cases probably, like I had like two rays and like three stormtroopers and um, uh, it was, it was one Kylo. They had no Genosos, because like, that, that thing is like, it's really rare, I, I never seen that song, I, just, I, never, I never seen the vintage collection of Genoso in store, so that, so yeah, I couldn't find that one, but I didn't care, um, because I did order guys the whole way for vintage collection online, on the little, little toy company, so I'm a kind of need to worry about the vintage collection, and I don't need to worry about the new solo wave for Black Series, I ordered it online, uh, I'm okay, I just need to search for some 3.75 inch stuff, like, like these stuff in store because it's not really that, not really that rare. Like Black is really rare in Australia, so yeah. Um, so I was trying to find some stuff. I thought I thought I'd probably find a rebel, a rebel um, off soldier, a trooper, whatever. Um, I was hoping to find that to army people. But I want to get like two, two or three of them. So I couldn't find them. But hot trooper had mad enough there. So I went. So the, sorry, I went to like the Hot Wheels Styles section, and they had this: the Vintage Collection 120 Rebel Hoth Trooper. So I really had to go through this twenty four dollars. It's twenty four dollars. Really expensive, but I'm okay. I did open this up, so yeah. Package is a little bit ripped there, but I don't care because I did order one from. I did order one from Little Toy Company. I'll keep that one Kyle, I want to get one loose. This is an awesome figure Vintage Collection. Coming back, guys. I'm so excited. And, um, yeah. This is, uh, this is a cheaper. Stay tuned for a review coming soon. Probably, probably like, the next couple of days. So, it's an awesome figure. Articulation is awesome. It's 120 in the Vintage Collection line. So, yeah. So, that's the second thing I got yesterday. And I went to a toy world. I was looking for some solo. I was looking for, was looking for some solo single card figures. But I didn't find nothing. But I when I saw in the light Jedi um aisle um this Obi Wan Kenobi yeah this Obi Wan Kenobi it's, it's not Ben Kenobi like it's, it's it is Ben Kenobi it's when it's when Obi Wan changed his name but it says uh, it says, it says Obi Wan Kenobi so that's kind of weird but yeah oh, I've been searching with you for a, a long time guys I I ordered the Yoda one online but um but when they had the um Obi Wan they were out of stock, so I was pretty, pretty angry. But uh, yesterday, if you follow me on Instagram, I, 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 I posted some more pictures of Toy World having these ones for $17. So I was really happy. I didn't have enough. My dad, but my dad luckily I'm going for me because this is the last figure, guys, I needed for my Force Link, the first Force Link line of figures. Like the Force Link, now, now I have completed the line. I just needed that um, Pro Joyce and I'll complete, uh, full, full complete, but. It's an awesome figure of Obi Wan. Oh, oh, they only make a review on this guy. Looks so awesome. Horse Link Obi Wan. And it had, it had like a bunch of um, Goders there too. A bunch of Goders and stuff. So, oh, was my little Fourth Friday and Rants video. Um, I don't know, I'm still waiting guys for three orders. I ordered one from January, one from March, and one from this month, April. I'm still waiting for them to come to make some more videos. Um, I've seen Slack lately. <laughs> And retailers and really, really pissed off. So some people in the United States and Australia have been have been failing some solo, some kind of figures of Toys R Us and Toy World, but I can't find nothing. I probably need to check a Toy World one day and uh, uh, Toys R Us one day because it's just far away. It's too far, Toys R Us. It's just it's, it's up because up the road to Toy World and every day we do. It's that's the best in came up that happened there. But yeah. I did. I did post some more things on Instagram, so check that out. I'll definitely make some reviews on, on these stuff, guys. So chase tuned for more reviews on these coming soon. Probably in the next, probably in the, probably in the next couple of days, I'll probably do one review. But yeah, that's my little rant here. And so yeah, um, Fourth Friday haul video. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please smash the like button and subscribe. And stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. So thank you guys for subscribing. Made for you. Broke one ounce.